Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Board of Education for this auspicious meeting. This is the special board meeting for the Kansas City Public Schools Board of Directors. The meeting is now called to order. The secretary will please call the roll. Mr. Barca? Present. All right. A little blade here. Mr. Hogan? Here. Ms. Cortez? Here. Dr. Jones? Ms. Manser? Here. Mr. Wasserstrom? Here. Ms. Wolfsey? Here. Thank you. The first item of business is the acceptance of the vote tally from the Kansas City Board of Elections Commissioners from the April 6, 2021 election. All board members should have received the certified official results for the April 6 um, school election that were approved by the Board of Directors of the Kansas City Election Board today. At this time, it would be in order to have a motion to approve the election results. So moved. Second. It has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion on the motion? Hearing none. This will be a roll call vote. The secretary will please call the roll. Mr. Barca? Yes. Ms. Cortez? Yes. Mr. Hogan? Yes. Ms. Manser? Yes. Mr. Wasterstrom? Yes. Ms. Wolfsey? Yes. Thank you. The motion passes. The election results are accepted and approved. At this time, the next item of business is I'm sorry, I apologize. The next item of business is the inauguration of newly elected board members. We will recognize Dr. Bedell to excuse the former members of the Kansas City Public Schools Board of Directors. All right, Madam Chair, so I will be very clear with you. I do not remember this, but at this time, <laughs> I want to thank our board members for their service and uh, the two years with Mr. Wasserstrom, the five years that I've had an opportunity to work with Ms. Manser with, with the total of seven years. I wanna thank you all for your service and know that uh, we have been able to advance this school district and we are ready to move forward and continue to build on this work that we've done. And so at this time, um, we will excuse you from your service to the Kansas City Public Schools at this time. So at this time, we will pass it over to our Chief Legal Counsel who will invite the newly elected Board of Directors to take oath of office. Okay, good evening. I'm gonna start out by, I wanna thank the Honorable Judge Jalea Otto for agreeing to administer the oath of office. Let me tell you just a little bit about Judge Otto. She was appointed as circuit judge in October 2017 by Governor Eric Greitens. Judge Otto has served as an assistant associate Circuit Judge of Jackson County from 2014 to 2017. Prior to her appointment to the court, she served as a Chief Trial Assistant for the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office as well as Special Assistant United States Attorney with the U.S. Attorney's Office. So at this time, uh, I would ask that uh, the newly elected board members from subject number one, Ms. Rita Cortez, from subject three, Mr. Manny Abarca, from Sub-District 5, Ms. Candace Buckner and Ms. Tisnisha Ford um, would uh, line up so that uh, Judge Otto can offer the swearing in. I don't know 
if it's improper, but can I say a few words before I swear them in, if that's okay? Absolutely. I, I am a lawyer by trade, so <laughs> that, is, that is what I do. But, but come, please take your seat, or come stand here. I just want to say a couple words. Um, thank you for that very kind introduction. Um, as you said, my name is uh, Jalila Otto. It wasn't always Otto. It used to be Chilcote. And when I was Jalila Chilcote, I was a school, I was a student in this very esteemed school district. I went to Border Star Elementary and I went to Lincoln College Preparatory Academy. And I just always want to tell people how proud I am to have been a product of this school district because you can definitely get to wherever it is you dream to be from where you're at right now. So I have four children. Um, they, are, they go through the public school system. Um, and it's, it's just very, very important that we have quality schools, um, that we teach our children to believe in their dreams, to dream very, very big, and to work very, very hard. And so they will probably have no idea what you guys do in this building. I don't think I had any idea <laughs> that there was a school district when I was a kid. But as an adult, I appreciate the work that you guys did to make sure that I got a quality education and that my children are getting a quality education. So I just want to thank you guys for your work, your service, and then I'm ready. I was going to do them all together, but this is kind of important, so we'll do them one at a time in case your family wants to take pictures. Um, let's go with the senior members. All right. And I'll do it alphabetically. Mr. Abarca, please raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Missouri and that I will faithfully and, faithfully and impartially, and impartially discharge, the duties discharge the duties of school director in, school director in and, for the school of City. and for the school district of Kansas City. Number 33, Number 33 County, of Jackson, County of Jackson, State of Missouri, State of Missouri to, the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, according to law. According to law. Okay. Congratulations. I give this to you. Okay. And while he's doing that, Ms. Cortez, I'll have you raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Missouri and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of school director in and for the school district of Kansas City. Number 33, County of Jackson, State of Missouri, to the best of my ability, according to law. Congratulations. All right, Ms. Buckner, if you will please raise your right hand. Are we close enough for a picture? Okay. All right. 
<laughs> okay, I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Missouri and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of school director in and for the school district of Kansas City, number 33, County of Jackson, State of Missouri, to the best of my ability, according to law. Congratulations. All right, and last, last but not least, Ms. Ford, please raise your right hand. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Missouri and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of school director in and for the school district of Kansas City. Number 33, County of Jackson, State of Missouri, to the best of my ability, according to law. Congratulations, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you, guys. Do you have a camera you want me to use too? Sure. Here we go. Is vertical okay? The logo's in there. Looking fantastic. There's a couple. Thank First, put your mask down just a little bit, David. The eyes throw you out. There you go. All right. Camilla, we're gonna take a picture of you. Okay, are you ready for this? 
Yeah, you're ready. She's like, I'm ready. I'm smiling. All right, perfect. Adorable. Adorable. Oh. Okay. Good. You just have a camera, Manny. You want me to take the same way? So when you get ready, uh, I'd ask the secretary to please call the roll. Mr. Barca? Present. Ms. Buckner? Present. Ms. Cortez? Here. Mr. Hogan? Here. Ms. Ford? Present. Dr. Jones? Present. Ms. Wolfsey? Here. Thank you. The first election of this evening will be for the office of chairperson of the board. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear me now? Yes. Thank you. So let me repeat that. The first election of this evening will be for the office of chairperson of the board. Nominations are now open for that position. Mr. Thornton, I would like to nominate Nate Hogan for chair. Second. You don't need a second. Oh, sorry. So, uh, sorry. so uh, Mr. Nate Hogan has been nominated. Are there any other nominations? I would like to nominate Rita Cortez. Sorry, can you hear me now? Do I need to do that over? I'll do that over. <laughs> Mr. Hogan and Ms. Cortez have been nominated for chair. Uh, the election will be conducted by roll call. We will first vote for the first person nominated, which would be Mr. Hogan. If you are in favor of voting for Mr. Hogan to be chair, uh, your vote would be yes. If you are opposed to it, your vote will be no. You may also abstain. Secretary, will you call the roll? Mr. Abarca? Yes. Ms. Buckner? No. Ms. Cortez? No. Ms. Ford? No. Mr. Hogan? Yes. Dr. Jones? Yes. Ms. Wolfsey? Yes. Get your mic. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mine's sorry, on. Sorry, folks. Um, the results of, of, of the votes were as follows. There were four votes in favor of Mr. Hogan. There were three opposed, and there were no abstinations. So... I'll say it again. <laughs> since, since there was a majority of votes in favor of voting for Mr. Hogan as chair, elections are closed, and he has been elected as chair of the board. <laughs> Mr.
Now, Mr. Hogan, I would turn the next elections over to you. Thank you, Mr. Thornton. Thank you, board uh, colleagues, for uh, for your support um, and the confidence you place in me to lead uh, this board for the next two years. The next election this evening will be for the office of vice chairperson of the board. Nominations are now open for vice chair. Mr. Chair, I'd like to nominate Jennifer Wolfsey. Okay, Jennifer Wolfsey is nominated. Are there other nominations? No. Okay, hearing no further nominations, nominations are closed. We'll now proceed to the election. The candidate for vice chair is Jen Wolf Jennifer Wolfsey. This election will be conducted by roll call. We'll first vote on, well, we'll only vote on Jennifer Wolfsey as vice chair. The secretary will call the roll, and if you're in favor of electing Jennifer Wolfsey as vice chair, please respond yes. If you do not wish to elect Jennifer Wolfsey, please respond no. You may also abstain. The secretary will please call the roll. Mr. Abarca? Yes. Ms. Buckner? Abstain. Ms. Cortez? Yes. Ms. Ford? Abstain. Mr. Hogan? Yes. Dr. Jones? Yes. Ms. Wolfsey? <laughs> yes. All right, Jennifer Wilson has received the majority of the votes, cast, and is declared elected vice chair. <laughs> the next election this evening will be for the Office of Treasurer of the Board. Nominations are now open for treasurer. Ms. Alicia Ford. All right, Tanisha Ford and Manny Abarca are nominated. Are there other nominations? Okay, hearing no further nominations, nominations are closed. We will now proceed to the election. The candidates for treasurer are Tanisha Ford and Manny Abarca. This election will be conducted by roll call. We will first vote on the first person nominated, who is Tanisha Ford. This election will be conducted by roll call. We will, oh, I said that already. <laughs> the secretary will please call the roll, and if you're in favor of electing Tanisha Ford, please respond yes. If you do not wish to elect Tanisha Ford, please respond no. You may also abstain. The secretary will please call the roll. Mr. Abarca? No. Ms. Buckner? Yes. Ms. Cortez? Yes. Ms. Ford? Yes. Mr. Hogan? No. Dr. Jones? No. Ms. Wolfsey? No. Three yes and four no. All right, there were, there were three yeses and four noes, so we'll move on to the next nomination of Manny Abarca for treasurer. Will the uh, secretary please call the roll? Mr. Abarca? Yes. Ms. Buckner? No. Ms. Cortez? No. Ms. Ford? No. Mr. Hogan? Yes. Dr. Jones? Yes. Ms. Wolfsey? Yes. Four yes and three no. All right, the results are as follows. There were four votes in favor of Manny Abarca and three votes opposed. There were zero abstentions. Mr. Abarca is elected treasurer of the board. So thank you for that. Um, congratulations to the board officers. Thank you, everyone, for casting your vote based on your conscience. We appreciate it. And I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll speak for my colleagues as officers. We'll represent this board well. We'll represent this district well. And we'll make sure that every voice on this board is counted and heard, regardless of who you voted for. So the next item on the agenda is um, really to talk about the, uh, the committees. And so in your board packet, I believe, um, you'll find information on the committees, the three uh, ad hoc committees that we have. There are standing committees, the Communications and Community Engagement Committee, the Finance Committee. It's really, I think, technically called the Finance and Audit Committee, correct? Um, and the Government Relations Committee. I'll just tell you that um, as you consider which committees you would like to 
um, be a part of. Just from a timing perspective, the governance committee generally is the most time consuming. That's not an effort to or ask anyone to um, or suggest that anyone should not volunteer for that particular committee. Um, it's just the reality. It, it is a bit more of a work um, a working board or working committee with more time um, being consumed for it. So what we'll do is what I'd like to do, and, and Madam Secretary. Sorry, there's a little confusion here. Yeah, no worries. Can everyone, Ms. Ford, do you, oh, she didn't have one. Ms. Buckner, do you have the committee list? You do, okay, great. Okay, so Madam Secretary, if you could just kind of capture this information, what we would like to do tonight is just gain interest, understand who's interested in what committee, and then we'll come back to the next board meeting um, as board policy dictates and determine who is going to be assigned to which committee. So can we maybe start at um, this end of the dais, and Ms. Buckner, do you have an interest in a particular committee? I do, communications and um, community engagement. Okay. Any other committees in addition? I do not. No? Okay. Ms. Cortez? Um, I would be interested in serving on finance um, first and or government relations. Gotcha. Thank you. Ms. Ford? Any particular committees of interest for you? Finance and communications or community engagement. Okay. Madam Secretary, I don't want to go too fast. Are you, you ready to move on? Okay, uh, Mr. Abarca. Government relations, yep. Okay, Dr. Jones. Uh, communications and community engagement. And Ms. Wolsey? I would like to still serve on government relations. Thank you. And so we'll come back to the next board meeting with um, board, or board committee assignments. The other couple of things that I'd like to just talk about in terms of um, opportunities for board members to be a part of. So the Missouri School Board Association, which is the association for um, boards across the entire state, um, there's also a representative that serves in, in that capacity for, um, for MSBA and represents Kansas City Public Schools and our board. So that's one opportunity. Another is Council of Great City Schools, which is really the membership association for um, the largest urban school districts in the country. Um, it's, a great, it's a great organization, lots of learning opportunities there as well. So that's one thing to consider. And I'm going to ask Dr. Bedell, or maybe even Ms. Wolfsey on this next one. For NSBA, the National School Board Association, do we actually assign a representative to that particular board? Oh, June is shaking her head yes. So that's another one um, that folks may want to consider. And we can you know, send out information on the website to, to you know, all the new board members, um, just so you can get a feel for what those organizations are about. And then if you want to express an interest on those as well, then please do so, and, and we'll make assignments there as well. All right. Well, if there are no other topics for discussion tonight, hearing none, then I think we'll adjourn this meeting. Thank you.